What's up, freaks in the VIP? Just want to do a quick Friday roundup. Just check in, see how you're doing, see how you're holding up with all the craziness, with all the quarantine, with all the lockdown, and just talked about a couple things. First and foremost, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, need help with anything, this is your chance. Let's talk about it. You can put it down there in the comments if you end up watching this live. If you see it later on recording, just put it down there in the comments below. I'll check back. I'll circle back around and check back and see if you have any questions, need help with anything with your training, with your nutrition, with your at-home workouts, with the Zoom, all this other stuff. We can help you out and get set up the right way. I know that sometimes doing the at-home workouts, we think that we're not at-home workout people or whatever, or we don't. We, sometimes the technology doesn't work, and that's part of the game. So one thing I've realized that sometimes your Wi-Fi connection could be bad with Zoom. Just turn, so right, right before I go on to a Zoom workout, I'll sit and turn all the Wi-Fi off on all the other devices that I'm not using, and you won't realize how much crap you have attached to your Wi-Fi. The more stuff attached to your Wi-Fi, you're, you only have a certain amount of bandwidth per second that you can your Wi-Fi can dish out, and when you're doing those live Zooms, it's taking up a lot of bandwidth because it's live, it's streaming, you're connected, you're also doing video and audio that takes a lot of juice. So if your juice is being split up between a bunch of different devices, so right before I go live on Zoom, I always just turn the Wi-Fi off on all the other devices and, and you end up realizing you have, shoot, we have, I don't even know, 20, 30 different things attached to Wi-Fi. It's crazy. Like everything is attached to Wi-Fi. Your freaking pillows nowadays are attached to Wi-Fi. So just sometimes turn off the Wi-Fi. But that's just one little thing. That's because I know that I've seen on some of my sessions that I've been doing that sometimes people get the connection, they lose connection, and then come back in. So we want to make sure that you have the best experience possible. So that's just one little thing you can think about is turn the Wi-Fi off. Next thing is equipment. I hope you, everyone that needed equipment got their equipment so that you can use it, your kettlebells, dumbbells, all that other good stuff. I hope it's working out for you. I hope though that equipment is getting to good, getting put to good use. And as new people come back into the gym, people that were on freeze and on hold come back in, we'll set up a future date eventually where we can get them some equipment too. And the reason for that and the reason why I want to make sure you got your hands on some equipment and, and new people coming in will have to, there'll be a little time in between. We can't set it up every week just for logistical purposes and we obviously want to keep everyone safe and everyone at home the way they should be. But I've got some messages from some freaks asking about opening the gym back up May 15th, I guess, because there's been some things where quarantine has ended. First thing to, to realize is that that date has been pushed back I don't know, three or four times already. So that gets, it's always just been in a two, two week or a four week slot. So right before May 15th, they can say, okay, we're extending the stay at home thing. It's also going to go regionally by state. And then even within each state, it's going to go regionally by county. And Rockland County is still, and, and Orange County, New York City, all the surrounding areas by us where people come through and work are still hot spots. So I'm pretty sure there won't be any big, massive opening on May 15th. And I know that sucks to hear, but we have to just think about the reality. We have to think about our current reality, where we're at right now. So just keep that in mind. If, if and when businesses are allowed to open back up, I can tell you that even the places that are like not having horrible statistics that are getting ready to open up with their phase one or whatever they're calling it, they're calling it phase one, phase two, phase three, depending on the numbers and cases and all this other stuff, the amount of restrictions in businesses and public places is going to be extremely limited and totally different than we're used to and a, and take that times 10 for something like a hair salon or a fitness place massage i don't know how that's going to even happen like so many of these businesses that are getting hit really hard think about massage therapy right people that are actually hands on but also in the fitness industry in the gym it's going to be one of the last types of businesses to be allowed to even open even in a limited capacity but then especially when it is open it's going to be severely restricted and tons of limitations that to conduct the business the way we have so the planning ahead of what i'm seeing what i'm hearing from the people I'm talking to around the country and and different people that i know it's going to be things like only a certain amount of people per square are allowed in depending on the square footage of the space and it's going to be a very small amount of people per square foot in on top of that, keeping the whole social spacing or whatever is going to be have to set up. There's going to have to be markings on floors. Have you ever been to a martial arts class, or like a karate class, where there's markings on the floor where they have people stand so they don't kick each other? 
they already have it down, those martial arts places. But think about that, too. Like, karate classes, jiu-jitsu. Those places like that are going to be even harder than a gym. So I feel bad for those type of businesses. And, and hopefully they are pivoting and adapting and overcoming and, and doing things kind of the way we're doing by still trying to serve people and, and get online. But it's going to be stuff like that. There's only going to be a certain amount of people allowed in the building. So think about this. Especially in New York, we're coming to the nicer weather at least. But still, there's rain. And who knows how long this could last to even say through the fall. You never know. You really don't know how long these types of restrictions are going to last. You're talking about rain and cold weather. Having to wait outside until after a session. So we're working on the logistics of it. All this, and I'm sharing all this with you and telling you all this stuff. Not to, to scare you or bring you down. It's just to prepare you. That even when, when businesses are allowed to be open, gyms are going to be severely restricted. So... If and, and when we're able to do that, whenever that happens, it's going to be a very limited capacity. That's the, all the sign, what all the signs are saying. As in, you would have to be in the same spot when you're working out. You can't, wouldn't really be able to move around like in a circle, like the way we would switch and stuff like that. You have to be remaining in your spot with your own equipment that you're only allowed to touch. So it's not you could be using that and then go somewhere else. There would also need to be time in between sessions for a complete cleanup of the stuff and all that other stuff. And and limited amount of people. So we're the point is, no matter what the restrictions are, the online, if you haven't been getting online, you need to get online. It's ridiculous. The workout, you could still get at home, especially if you have that equipment, even if you didn't have the equipment that we got out to you. It's ridiculous, the online, the sessions you can get. Even when I'm teaching the session, I'm done just teaching and coaching the session. And sometimes the Facebook Lives, we're actually doing it with you. On the Zooms, we're just kind of demonstrating it and checking out, demonstrating some more, checking out. I'm done with those. My shirt is literally drenched. I can wring it out, soaked, out of breath. Don't even need to work out for the day just from coaching the session. That's like my workout for the day sometimes. Well, then I'll still go do some some pull-ups and go for a run. We're going to get into that in a second. But the, 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 we have to realize that this is our new normal, that we can't just think we're going to be, even the, the, the big, huge commercial gyms, if you've seen, like, Gold's Gym has already permanently closed over 30 locations, like, permanently. And several of the other big name chains are just talking about bankruptcy and all this other stuff because they've been hit so hard by this. And then them, they're knowing the restrictions that are going to be coming up in the months ahead that even with those restrictions, they wouldn't be able to stay open and manage to stay open with the amount of space that they have to have such a limited amount of people in there and not allowed to have... They wouldn't even be allowed to have any kind of group training and treadmills would have to be split apart or unplugged or whatever. It's, it's going to be crazy. So the point is that you need to just go all in and embrace this, vir- this, this peak virtual training that we're doing because this is our new norm and it is so possible to get the training in. Just make it part of your habit. Make it part of your daily routine. Just go in with that positive mindset, with that attitude. Actually, speaking about it, you can see right back here, right here. I keep this right here all the time. Attitude is everything. Pick a good one. Actually, you can see, surround yourself with positivity. I'm going to do another video. My whole workstation here. And you could just see the massive amounts of of positivity and stuff that you just can't be brought down when you surround yourself with this kind of stuff. So, I want you to get used to the online training. This is like, even when the gyms are open up, we're going to keep this going because, first of all, we're just having so much fun. It's so convenient. We've been able to get some members that have moved away to other states that now are back with Pete just because they're in other states. There's even some in other countries that are training, some that moved just out of the local area, like in the city or whatever, that that are back onto training. So it's just awesome. There's so much now, so many options really with the online training. It's only getting better and better and better because we're fairly new at this too. We've had the portal going for a while, but it just keeps getting better and better. It's really, the online training is just freaking awesome. It's been going great. The workouts are great, just except for those connection issues that sometimes people have with their Wi-Fi or whatever. So just to try and mitigate that by turning off some Wi-Fi stuff, but just get used to this being the new normal. Don't think that this is just the snap of a finger on some date that someone says on TV or you read in an article like May 15th and all of a sudden it's like that. It's not going to be like that. And even when finally there is a, a clearance to, For businesses to open, going to be severely limited. So please remember that. And on top of the training you're doing, the online sessions, don't forget, say you do a boot camp session today, you follow along live, you're able to make it live. Don't forget, you can go back on the VIP page, here on the VIP page, or on the portal, 
The portal has every single online session we have done since we've been starting this, which was the day that this whole quarantine started, May, March 16th or 17th. Literally, we had a session that night. I think 7.15 p.m. was the last session. That session ended, and we were right on to the, the online sessions the next day, the very next day. And every one of those has been logged and categorized on the portal in order by date. It tells you what the workout was, what equipment you need, whether it was boot camp, boxing, whether it was strength, cardio, how long it is. Obviously, right now, there's 60 minutes. But I'm also adding onto the portal literally seven days a week. New mindset videos, new nutritional videos, new short little workouts you could do, new short little circuits you can get some extra activity in. Because this one session, is it good enough to get crazy results? Yes, it is. But here's the thing. I still need you to do extra activity outside of your one session. Because especially when you're stuck at home, normally you're used to getting up, moving around, getting ready for work, running around like crazy. Go right. You walk out to your car, you drive wherever you're driving, you're getting your blood flowing, you park wherever you're parking, you walk, you walk, you walk here, you walk there, you walk to the store, you walk into the gym, you walk out of the gym. So your step count, you need to get your step count up. You just need to stay active and be moving. And if you have to do an additional mini little workout, pull up some of the mini workouts we have on the portal or do a, a portion of one of the old recordings of a different type that you've done. If you did like a boot camp, now do some of the boxing. Go for a walk one to two times a day. Like if you normally would have to walk to the train, say, to get whatever it is. I don't know what the situation is. But whatever it is, the amount of activity that you normally would get just organically throughout the day, you need to simulate that. You can't just sit on your ass around the house and and feel bad about the situation. Attitude is everything. Just go into this stuff with a good attitude. Go into this with, you know what, no matter what happens, I'm going to kick ass. I'm going to keep training hard. Like I'm training harder right now with being stuck at home than I've trained in freaking years following these workouts with you freaks and trying to coach you freaks has been whooping my ass and I'm in fairly decent shape and this has been whooping my ass I'm I'm so sore like every day like the good kind of sore like feeling fucking awesome every day and then but in addition to that in addition to the sessions when I can I'll either go for a bike ride go for a run and in addition to that still go for a walk get a walk in at least one to two times a day even if it's just 10, 15 minutes here and there, you have time, go for a 30, 40, 60 minute walk. Sometimes, let me tell you this, sometimes go for a walk with other people, meaning your family, the people you're with. Don't just go with, with whatever, keep your distance, follow the little rules or whatever. But the people that you're in the house with, go for a walk with them sometimes. But not just that, what I also want you to do is this, and, it's, and, and whatever, it might sound counterproductive, but it's not. Sometimes go for a walk by yourself. Sometimes just say, you know what, I'm gonna go for a walk by myself. Either go for a walk by yourself, with no headphones on and just walk and just let your mind just the creative juices start flowing and just start thinking, getting those the creative positive energy in your brain or go for a walk by yourself with headphones on and listen to a book. You can listen to a book. If you went for a walk 30 minutes a day, you could get through books after book after book and you, you'll get so much knowledge and so much, think of that, bang for your buck. You're getting fresh air. You're getting some additional exercise. You're getting your normal activity, your steps in that you normally we're getting before, while you're getting knowledge soaked into your brain, you're seeing the world, you're moving around, get out there and walk and move. In addition to your workout, in addition, find a time to go for a little jog or a bike ride so it's a little more extra intense workout or get a, uh, another boxing session in or something throughout the day or even half a boxing session in throughout the day. The point is just keep fucking moving. That's what you need to do. Don't get stuck sitting around because when you just sit still and doing nothing, that's when that little inner freaking beast, and I, I call it the, when it happens to me, I call it my inner bitch. My inner bitch starts coming up on one shoulder. Like, you know, they have those devils, the good devil, the bad devil. My inner bitch comes on one, and then my beast comes on the other, and they battle. And that, that inner bitch of mine always pops back up. No matter how much you hammer it down and kill it and assassinate it, it's always there, and it will keep creeping up on you. So they say that you, you could, whatever wolf you feed, the good wolf or the bad wolf, Whichever one you feed is the one that's going to take over and dominate. Stop feeding the bad wolf. Feed the good wolf. Stop feeding the inner bitch. Feed the inner beast. And go just move and make this stuff happen. No matter what happens. If if what are you going to do if they say, okay, quarantine is another six months? Just say. Obviously, we don't want that to happen. Hopefully it doesn't happen. But just say, what if it just really just kept getting worse and worse because people weren't listening and stuff just kept spreading? What are you going to do? 
Like, that's why you have to think about it. Like, this is our reality right now. Where we're at right now is our reality. You need to live according to the present, to the reality. Deal with it as it comes. We have no control over that. Make the most of it. Keep working. Train your ass off. We've had people go on freeze. A lot of people go on freeze from the gym, like hold their accounts because they think they're just going to wait it out. And we have some people now already coming back off freeze because they realize this thing's going to be a lot longer than they thought. It's, they're, they're miserable sitting at home. They need that help, that coaching, that guidance. And they're gaining some damn weight. And, and, and if you're starting to gain weight yourself, and even if you've been doing the workouts, you need to still like make that decision in your head to, to maintain your discipline. Like Just because you're sitting at home is not an excuse to start eating a, bunch, a whole bowl of pretzels at night. Now once you know here and there you earn some, some snack or treat or whatever, you got to earn that shit. Earn it by doing your training session every single day. Try to take a class every day. Normally we would say take a break. I'm going to tell you, try to take a session seven days a week. And you rarely will hear me say that for a few reasons. Because again, you're not getting that extra movement that you normally got during the day where you were moving around and whatever else. And number two, if you plan for seven, you might get, you'll probably get at least five or six, right? And if you get seven, you're going to, you're going to survive. Your little might be a little sore, but that's fine because you're not moving around. In addition to that, get that extra exercise in, whether it's bo- some additional boxing, a run, a bike ride, and then even on top of that, walk. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Steve, I don't have all this time in the world. Bullshit. That's a bullshit excuse, and you know it. You have the freaking time. You're sitting at home all day. You're watching some stupid leopard show on Netflix or something, or or binge-watching three or four seasons of something. You have the damn time. Turn the damn Netflix off and go go for a walk with your family. Go for a walk by yourself at the first thing in the morning. Go for a walk with your family at nighttime, get the extra walks in, listen to some books, read some books, close the fucking Netflix and open up a damn book. If you can see around me, I'm surrounded by books. I read all freaking day. And will I turn on Netflix and play? And there's more. I'm going to do a whole video one time on just your workstation. How your works, how you can set up your workstation, different, setting up different relics, different triggers to trigger your, your mindset and your mentality. I'm going to do a whole separate video on that one day. This is like some personal stuff here. We're going to go into that one day, how you can really just Always keep yourself in the zone and focus, especially from home. This is what I've been doing and keeping structure and discipline for now several years. So you need to train for this stuff. You need to be ready for this stuff. Keep freaking moving. If you have any questions, any comments, just put them down below. But just please understand this is the new normal right now. Embrace the online training. Get into the session. Show up there. Bring the fucking fire every second of every second. Come in with a great attitude because attitude is everything. Pick a good one. It's just attitude and effort. That's all it takes for literally. That's the answer for almost anything in life is attitude and effort. That's it. That's all you need. So just come in with that good attitude. Put in maximum freaking effort with a positive attitude. You can't go wrong in no matter what you are doing. So please just follow all those steps. Make sure you're getting on the online sessions. If you need help with your nutrition, you need help with some of the supplements, if you need help with the Herbalife, you need some stuff shipped to your house because you don't want to go out to the store. Shit, you should see the Herbalife. I have, uh, Evans probably shows it all the time, but literally there is a, a stockpile of Herbalife. I could, I could probably be quarantined for a year and live off that stuff. So if you need some stuff, you can have it shipped out to you, sent out to you so you don't even have to leave the house. So it comes straight to your freaking door and you can make sure you're getting the protein you need, the energy you need, whatever supplements you need, whatever assistance you need. So Follow all these steps. If you need help, reach out. Ask. Don't suffer in silence. But realize this is the new normal. Embrace it. Go all in on the online coaching. There's literally more options and more accountability, more help, more service than we have been ever been providing. So step it up. Please share the online training, the, the 21 days to $21, or even a free week with all your friends, your family members, your coworkers. Please share those links with them. Take a picture of yourself after one of your workouts, a quick video, please, and post it. Tag in a bunch of your friends in there. Let them know about it so we can keep this thing going and just keep improving. And we can just keep adding more people in from the local area. We can help out that need this because these people need this more now than ever. They need this motivation, this guidance, this coaching, this mentoring, this positivity, the motivation more than ever, more than ever. Like not when this is done is not what they need. They need it now because if, if people sit out and wait until everything is totally clear, which who knows if, if and when that's ever going to happen, they're going to be so dug deep in a hole, a dark, dark hole, and every day just digging deeper and deeper 
by then it's going to be so hard to help them build a ladder to climb out of. So share this with, share, share all those, the videos and posts you see that, that we put out there from the gym. Share it with your friends and family so we can keep this thing going. We can keep the online going strong. It's freaking awesome. It is literally better than ever. The, the training sessions are better than ever. Like I'm having a blast with it. I'm getting in such great shape with it. So please share with your friends and your family. Stay active. Get your workouts. Get some extra exercise in. Go for a walk. Get outside. Get some air. Sometimes your family. Sometimes by yourself. Listen to books and freaking read. Shut off the damn Netflix. Now don't get me wrong. Once you earn it. Once. If you do everything that we're saying. And you're like. All right. I'm going to go watch some Netflix. Go binge away. But if you know you did all that shit. Like. Tyson always wants to play video games. He, he asked if we can go play video games. Did you work out? Yes. Did you read? Yes. Did you ride your bike? Yes. Did you play any sports? Yes. Did you study? Yes. Did you do math? English. Did you read? Did you write? Did you do your homework? Did you do this? Did you do that? A whole list. Clean your room. Clean the clean the house. Do laundry. He's doing all that stuff. Oh, he's like, yep, 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 yep. Shh, shit. I can't say anything. Go play all the games you want. You have to earn that shit. So earn it. All right. If you have any, I've been rambling for on. I could just go on and on and on. So. If you need any help with anything, reach out, put a message here, just send me a message privately. Let's get on the phone. Let's talk about it. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.